In this video, I'd like to talk about the widgets and specifically photos in those widgets of iOS. So as you know, in iOS 14, we got the ability to add widgets and also we have that in iOS 15. But if you add the native photos app widget, it's kind of really not practical for a lot of cases because the main feature of it is that it can add you some featured photos as they call it. So this can be pretty much anything, any photo from your entire gallery, which definitely sucks because you have a lot of things in uh, that you can have some private photos stored or whatever, and you perhaps don't want this to show up. And especially in this unexpected rate of change, you, you can never expect what's going to appear there. That's why it's kind of useless, except for the case or the rare occasion where you would like to have some featured or random photos show up. But for this, in order to change it, you're going to have to stop using it completely. And I know that it's probably not what you wanted to hear, but you cannot really change it without downloading a third party app. You kind of expected it, but Apple doesn't allow us any sort of customization, at least at this point of time, running the early versions of iOS 15, so we can only rely on third-party apps. And there are plenty of choices that you have if you open up App Store and fire up the widgets and photo widgets and stuff. There are plenty of options to go for, but the most popular ones are, of course, going to pop up first. So it's pretty much whatever you decide to use. I can show you what I use and what I like. But before we continue with the video, I just want to quickly interrupt to say that if you're new on this channel, I usually make Apple related content with some questions like these or some smaller problems that bug people and these things that I try to solve for other people. So. If you in fact subscribe and something interesting is gonna be like the topic of my video, if I publish something that may be interesting for you, then it's gonna appear on your For You page. I mean, YouTube page, of course. So yeah, you will get access to it. So the app I like to use is one simply called Photo Widget, and it is of course free to download, but uh, there are some things that, um, you know, definitely surpass uh, the usability or features of the regular Photos app for the widgets, as I say. So you can add your own photos, which is very useful. You sort of create your own like albums and stuff. And there are some like features that you can play around with. And it's up to you to find out what really works or not. But aside from that, you don't really have many other options with this. I mean, it's just for the widget. It's not a photo gallery or it doesn't give you any sort of uh, edits besides the widgets. So this is pretty much all you get. It has great reviews and supports all three widget sizes. So no matter what you want to use it for, it should have the option at least. But it's not really optimized for iOS 15 because it's pretty much the same thing as you have in iOS 14 at the previous version. So yes, you can play around with it. You have other photo widgets, but the functionality is pretty much the same. It's just about the one that you pick. Most of them are free. And if there is something that you need to pay for, uh, you better make sure that it's something special that you do not get anywhere else because uh, there were a lot of scammers and a lot of apps that simply charge for something basic like this. And uh, there are plenty of apps that do it for free. So make sure to go ahead and do your research. But uh, there are some links to those apps in the description of the video down below. So you can click it and it's just going to get you there instantly. But anyways. Uh, I don't want to make this video any longer for no reason because there isn't much to talk about in here. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I really do hope that this video helped you and that you found some value in it. In case you did, then leave a thumbs up. This does help the channel. It helps uh, the video. It helps uh, with the algorithm. So it's just a great thing that you can do. And you can also subscribe, like I said in the video, to make sure that some interesting videos really show up to you. So make sure to do that. And also make sure to stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a great rest of the day and see you guys later.